Hello, my friends and fellow mono game developers. Uh, this is Chris Whitley, also known as Ares Turtle Dev in the mono game community. Um, I'm making this video real quick just to show someone on the mono game subreddit asked uh, the question Is there any way to reproduce this good out shader in mono game? Um, and someone replied, If you can write shaders, you can do anything, which is true. We're going to mute this. This is the shader they're trying to reproduce. Um, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. And you can see in the shader, the right side of the shader over here is jittery as it zooms in, but the left side is not jittery. Uh, and they do provide the shader code, but this is done in Godot, which is not HLSL shader, which is what we use in Mono Game. Um, so. This had to be rewritten for a mono game, uh, which is what I have done here. So I'm going to come to the project real quick and do .NET run just to just to show it real quick. Whenever it decides to run, there we go. Uh, and as you can see, you can see the jitteriness on the pixels on the right side here as it zooms in and zooms out, but on the left side there's no jitter. Uh, the left side is the only side with the effect applied, the shader applied. The right side does not have the shader applied. And this is just using a camera that I wrote uh, that's just zooming in and out. Um, you can take a look at the code real quick. Like I said, the camera, this is just a camera that I use, basic 2D camera that I use in a lot of projects. Um, nothing fancy about it. It's just, just a camera that provides a transformation matrix that I can use. Um, in the game class, um, we just have the two textures, the left and right town texture that are, are being loaded in, the camera that's created, and some values set up to specify the zoom level, the max zoom, and a timer that we can use the LARP with. Um, and then we just load our jitter-free effect in, which if we wanna look at the effect real quick, this is the, the code converted to Monogame's HLSL shader. Uh, right here, but it'll be in the Git repo. You can go look at it. I'm not going to go through the code here. Um, but, you know, we just load the content in, uh, create the camera, center the camera. Uh, then there's a method here that lurps the camera zoom. Just that's what's zooming the camera in and out. That's all this is doing. Um, and then the actual draw, draw, uh, we have to pass in the size of the texture uh as a parameter the reason we have to do that is because we're using HLS hlsl um but this is also a desktop gl project uh which means our shader model our, our yeah our pixel shaders model is, is set at 3.0 uh, which means we do not have access to the uh texture dot get dimensions function at um pixel shader 3. Uh, so instead we have to pass in the size of the texture ourselves and then we have to get the pixel or we have to get the uh textiles here so we just do 1.0 divided by the texture size to get that um then we use sample level here anyway doesn't matter you can look at the code um yeah we just set the value for that and then we draw the left side using the effect and then we draw the right side with no effect and that's it produces a uh produces the same result as as shown in the in the Godot video but this is in monogame so cool uh I will have a link to the GitHub repo down in the description of this video uh, I'm also going to reply on reddit and a comment there but other than that, I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night wherever you're at. And until the next video.